Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to add scroll snapping to your website using CSS. So here's a demo of how it looks. Here we have this website and when we scroll down, we can see that it snaps to the second section over here and if I scroll down a little bit more, it snaps to the third section. So in this website, you cannot stay on a position something like here because it will snap back to the third section. And if you scroll up a little bit more here, it will snap to the second section and if you scroll up it will snap to the first section and we can also press the down arrow once to go to the next section and uh, here we can see we are in the second section and if I press the down arrow once it will go to the third section and if I press the up arrow it goes to the previous sections so we're gonna see how to add this effect which is called scroll snapping to our website using CSS so let's get started Alright, so here I have created an empty folder called scroll snapping and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's create a new file called index.html and let's create one more file for the CSS, style.css. Now in VS Code you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 boilerplate code. So here we will just link our CSS file, so I'll just type link and here in the href we will just type style.css and uh, let's start by creating a container division so I'll just create a division with a class of container and in that we'll have some sections so I'll just create a section and in the section we will have a heading so I'll just type h2 and the first one is heading 1 and we'll also have a paragraph and uh, here I'll just add some random text All right so this is our first section now let's go ahead and uh, copy this and I'll just paste it two more times and I'll just change these headings to 2 and 3 and that's it with our HTML now let's style our web page so first of all let's open this in our browser so I have this extension called live server so just go ahead and search for live server and just install it and once you install it you'll have this option when you right click over here in the HTML called open with live server and here we can see on the right this is how our website looks right now so let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling this first of all let's use a universal selector so I'll just type asterisk and I will just reset the margin and the padding so I'll just type margin 0 and padding 0 and we'll also set the box sizing to border box now setting the box sizing to border box can help you calculate the width and the height of the elements better I have a dedicated video on box model and uh, you can find how it works over here alright so let's go ahead and uh, style the body so I'll just type body and I will just set a font family of Roboto and uh, now let's target the paragraph and we'll just have a line height so we'll just set a line height of 2 now let's style the h2 so let's type container because we can see we have this uh, division called container and in that we have the heading so here let's type h2 and let's give it a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and we'll set the font size to 60 pixels and we'll also set the font weight to 800 right now let's target all these sections now for all these sections we will have a height of 100 viewport height which is the full height of the screen so let's go ahead and uh, let's target the section so I just type container section and we'll give it a height of 100 viewport height and let's give it a background color of light gray and we will set the color of the text to dark gray and let's give it a padding of 32 pixels now for the second section we need to have a different background color and a different color of the text so what we'll do is we'll target the alternate sections so let's type container and section colon nth of type and here we'll just type 2n so this will select the sections with even numbers so it will select the second section the fourth section and so on so let's give it a background color of dark gray and the color of the text to white and now let's scroll down and here you can see for the second section we have a dark background color and a light text and if we scroll down again we have the white background color and the dark text so even if we add one more section so let's go ahead and add one more section over here so let's copy this and paste it down here and I'll just change this to 4 
Now if we scroll down, we can see that for the fourth section, we have dark background color and white text. All right, now let's bring everything to the center. Before that, we'll make a small change in our HTML. Now if we maximize this, we can see that it has this full width over here. Now we will set the width of the content to a maximum value, for example, 800 or something like that. But the width of the section should be 100% width. So here we can see we have this section over here and we cannot set a maximum width over here for the section. So let's go ahead and create a division with the class of content. And in that we will just add the heading and the paragraph. So let's cut this from here and add it inside the content. We will do the same with all the other sections. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. All right, so we have made changes to all the sections. Now we can go ahead and add a max width to this content and we can have full width for this section. So let's go ahead and go back to style.css and let's target the content. So I'll just type container section content and we'll give it a max width of 800 pixels and we will bring it to the center. So we'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. All right, now we can see we have a fixed width for the content inside our section. All right, now let's bring the content to the center. So I'll just type display of flex and align items to the center. And now we can see all the contents are in the center of the sections. All right, that's it with the design of our web page. Now let's add the scroll snapping. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the scroll from the body and we need to add it to the container of the sections. Now we're gonna add scroll snapping to these sections so we have to add the scroll bar to this container. So let's go ahead and in our style.css, let's type overflow and hidden. And now we can see that the scroll bar is hidden from the body. Now let's go to our container division. So let's create a new selector. So we'll just type container. And here we need to set overflow Y and we need to set it to scroll. And we also need to set the height to 100 viewport height. And now we can see we have this scroll bar over here and it is in the container. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the scroll snap type. So let's type scroll snap type. And we want to set the scroll for the Y axis, which is vertical. So let's type Y over here. And here you have to type mandatory. And now in the section, we need to set a scroll snap align. So for the container division, we need to add scroll snap type. And for the section, we need to add scroll snap align. And we'll set it to start. And that's it with the scroll snapping. So let's scroll down. And we can see that we are snapped to the second section. Let's scroll down a little bit. And uh, the third section is being snapped over here. Let's scroll up. And everything is working all right. Let's press the down arrow and the up arrow. And everything is working all right. So this is how you can add scroll snapping to your website using CSS. Now there's one more option over here called proximity. So let's type proximity over here. And now if you scroll down a little bit, we can see that nothing happens. But if you scroll down enough, maybe till here, we can see that we are snapped to the second section. And if you scroll down and if you go somewhere near the third section, we are snapped to the third section. So this is how proximity works. It doesn't snap if we are far away. But if you are close to the start of the section, then it will snap. So that's basically how you can add scroll snapping to your website. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.